Well, the summer travel season has barely started and already there are serious headaches at airports. Yeah, here's the statistics. This year, 70,000 American Airlines customers have missed their flights and 40,000 bags have been delayed. Believe it or not, there is a science to lines and some logistics that can help travelers. Laura Albert McClay is an associate professor of an industrial and systems engineering at UW-Madison who just returned from a trip to the Netherlands. Good to see you again, Thanks. Laura. Nice to see you too. So timing is everything with this. What are the busiest months at the airport? July is the busiest month, and I think the busiest day is somewhere on the Thanksgiving Day weekend. Really? So now, summer is busy. Just about everything in your life you approach from a math perspective <laughs> and a logic perspective. So how many, do you have any idea how many passengers traveled in 2015? It's 896 million passenger segments, okay. and it's supposed to top 900 million this year. Wow, so why are there so many problems? Is it just... What, well, what, why is it all backed up this summer? Sure, there's three main ingredients for why the lines get longer. One is more passengers, and we have more this year. Um, the second is security lanes. There aren't enough staff, and security lanes open. And the third is the screening time. So just taking a little bit longer um, to get through security, a little bit too long getting the laptop out of the bag, perhaps. Yeah. It just makes the line get longer. So you come up to a security line, and using your math and logistics, can you pick which line to go into? A little bit. I mean, I'm happy to get to the front of the line fast, yeah. that's for sure. Um, but I try to look at how many bags get through the x-ray device. That's usually the bottleneck. And if it looks like people have a lot of carry-on bags and laptops and they're a little slow taking their shoes off, that that's a, a clue about which line to go in. Yeah, there's no, thing, there's no line like a bad line. You know, you right. always pick the... It, I seem to do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Even like at McDonald's or, or, or Culver's. Right, right. But there's no way, I mean, there's really no way to be pre to predict which direction to go, right? You just, if you check your bag, it'll be easier. Exactly. You don't have a lot of control about when you can show up at the airport because your flight has a fixed time. Um, but what's a little surprising, I told you those three ingredients that make the lines longer, is that just small changes in those can make a pretty uh, reasonable weight, very intolerable. Okay. And that's what queuing theory tells us. And that's what we're seeing this year a little bit. Just those extra passengers that arrive at the airport, if it's a little bit more than what the system can handle, we see, the, see those lines explode. That's all it is? That's all it is sometimes. So, you just so got hopefully it has an easy fix. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned you just got back from the Netherlands. Did you have mm -hmm. problems? I didn't. Um, I flew out of O'Hare and I had showed up at the airport two hours ahead of time as suggested, but I sailed right through. I think they did some emergency fix and had some extra staff there. Three so, minutes you went through, you said? It is, but I think I flew out, out before the peak, which is another thing you can't always control. You know what else drives me nuts when you land and they deboard the plane? That makes no sense the way they do it. It mm -hmm. takes forever to get off the plane. It does. Is there a better way to do it? Getting off the plane is uh, pretty tough. It's just the pe pretty simple. People just from the front get off, you know, first, mm -hmm. and we all just wait. Um, boarding the plane, though, is a little bit counterintuitive. They usually board back to front, but it's a little bit better to board the plane outside to inside. And the way to think about it is much like security, where you have faster security if you have a bunch of lanes open and they're working in parallel. And if you do um, outside to inside, you have that big long line that goes down the center of the plane and a bunch of people can get into their seats in parallel. And if we're all trying to wait for that back row to open up, we, we don't have a lot of parallel, um, yeah, that makes parallel sense. work. So um, that seems to work a little bit better. But it's, it's tricky because people travel in groups and you have frequent flyers that get aboard first and so on. So what's your big takeaway for everybody? Just to relax and take a deep <laughs> breath. And it's not relaxing if you miss your flight. Oh, I know. But, you know, to, to keep at it, try to um, check your bag if you can. That really slows boarding the plane down, security lines, and so on. And give a little extra time if you're worried so you can relax. Yeah. And we said earlier last week when all, all these problems were, were sprouting up, Leave from like Madison, where there's a lot less security lines. Exactly. If you can. And usually I do, but for international, I missed a connection and for an international travel <laughs> once and uh never yeah, again right <laughs> once bitten twice shy yeah all right great advice as usual laura thanks great for to being see with you us. laura good thanks to have you back me. too